Welcome to 30 Days of Ableton Push. Today, we will talk about Push and VSTs and audio units. Some people have wondered if Push works with VSTs and audio units very easily. Uh, the answer is yes and sort of. First, there's no way to load audio units or VSTs from Push, but you can load them up with your computer, and then you could also load them up with racks. So let's first show how to load it up with a computer. So I'm going to my plugins and go to my VST. We'll get this mini moog or mini moog, depending on how you want to argue. I'll provide a link to a video that shows you how to use the options.txt file to make all of your parameters in your VSTs accessible. So we've got the the moog here, and you could see that the parameters are available. If I go in. There's banks of parameters, so I can change what I need to change in here. So let's also bring in an audio unit. Let's add a delay here. So now we've got our audio unit. say that that works. So let's say we want to access this from the push. So what we'll do is group it, name it, and save it. And we could go here. Got to navigate out. Instrument racks. There's a mini two. And then loaded mini two. And if you want, you could set your macros here or just go in and change everything that you want in here. That's how you use VSTs and audio units with push. Once again, this is Josh Spoon, 30 Days of Ableton Push, and I'll see you tomorrow.